my name is Jamie with Your Guide to Style and thank you so much for coming to my channel. So if you hit play on this video, it's probably because you wanna know what in the world to wear for New Year's Eve. And I've got some fun, inspiring outfits here for you. There's eight outfits all the way from maybe semi-dressy or smart casual all the way up to dressy. So you will have some options. And I will link everything below as always, but really these are just to help inspire you to figure out what you can put together. And hopefully you'll have some options like this in your closet. If not, just by adding maybe one piece or some accessories, it can take you a long way. And so I would really love it if you let me know in the comments below what outfit you love the best what you're going to be doing the only way i can get to know you guys is if you leave me a comment so i really want to get to know my subscribers and the people that watch these videos so i can learn more about you and give you more um, or better information that is useful to you so let me know what you like, who you are, what you're doing, and I would love it if you would just leave that in the comments below. And if you have any questions or suggestions that you want to appear in my What to Wear Q&A video, just put Q&A colon in front of that question or suggestion and it will be in the next video. So let's go ahead and get started on my first outfit. So outfit number one is called off the shoulder for smart casual. And I'm calling this smart casual because I think this is something that is casual, but looks a little bit more dressed up because of what you have paired with it. And so I did an off the shoulder, or actually this is a cold shoulder sweater, but you could do an off the shoulder. I love off the shoulder sweaters or cold shoulder sweaters. You could even do one with cutouts. And I talked about this in my festive holiday outfit video. I just think it's a great way to just kind of get something that's above the norm because you could just throw on a pull on sweater and there's nothing special about it, but you wouldn't necessarily wear something that was off shoulder or cold shoulder anywhere. So I do think it's a little bit more special and looks good for some type of event. And I paired it with a pair of dark wash boot cut jeans. You could do a flare here because I think they are easily dressed up and go with lots of different body types. And then I did add some tassel earrings that are teal because I love a pop of color. It doesn't have to be teal. You could do red, you could do uh, silver, you could do just something that pops and something that you love, maybe hot pink. So pick a color. There's lots of colors in these earrings. I've linked them below and they're super cheap, but really cute. And then you could add a bag in the same color if you had it. This is just a small Target bag that was inexpensive. And then I did add an ivory booty because these are really popular this season. I loved it with the ivory sweater. But if you wore a black sweater, you could do a black booty. You could change up the jeans if you wanted to, to a skinny jean. I always love giving you guys different options. So if you prefer a skinny jean, a skinny jean is A-OK -okay with this one. And you could also put a heel with this if you wanted to make it a little bit dressier, like a sandal, sparkly, uh, kind of New Year's-ish dressy heel. The next outfit I called Feel Good in Velvet because I don't know about y'all, but I love the feel of velvet when I put it on. And it's like, you can't stop rubbing it, right? <laughs> and the people around you can't either. But anyway, I love velvet blouses this time of year. I think they're a great option if you're not into sequins, if you don't want something super sparkly, but I think velvet is still very festive. And I have seen lots and lots of pretty blouses out there that are all different price points and I paired it with a pair of skinny coated jeans which I talked about coated jeans in my last video because I think coated denim can be worn pretty much throughout the year if you wanted to but they dress up really well which is why I like them they almost look like a faux leather they're just coated it's a wax coating on jeans and they I've sold them for years when I was in retail and I'm glad to see that other retailers are actually producing them at a lower cost the ones I had came from JC Penney they still have them and they're not expensive at all and they still look really good and that picture was in my last video but I think it's a great option for New Year's too. You could even put a sequins blouse with it, but I put velvet with it here. And then just a fun hoop earring in silver because I did a blue bag with silver sparklies on it and thought that was a great evening bag with this. And then just a short shaft or low shaft black 
pair of booties that actually has a stiletto heel, which makes them a little bit dressier. If you had a skinnier block heel, one that wasn't too blocky, that would work as well. Or you could do a pump or some kind of dressy sandal with this if you prefer an open toe. And then if you wanted to change up your accessories, like whatever top that you pick that works for you, if it's open neck, you could do a great necklace. You don't have to do an earring, but with the higher necks, I don't really like putting necklaces with them over the top. So I just do a fun statement earring and that's why I did that here. So I think you have lots of options. If you don't like the coated denim, just do a plain pair of black jeans or slim black pants and that would work as well. Outfit number three is called Holiday Sparkle and Shine. And this is definitely Sparkle and Shine. And this is one of my favorite outfits because I'm actually wearing a version of this. So I'll show you the collage first and then I'll show you the outfit that I have that's a little bit different, but not by much. So I chose a cold shoulder sequin blouse here because I thought it was so pretty and it shows the shoulders, but you could do any sequin blouse here that you want. And I just put it with a pair of flare coated jeans. You could do boot cut, you could do skinny if you wanted. I do love the coated jeans because they do have a little bit of shine. And then these earrings y'all, I have to say Express has had the best sparkly earrings this season. So pretty. There's another version of this earring that you will see at the end, but I love just a sparkle earring that adds to the outfit. And then I did a clutch, which also has a chain strap. So if you don't want to hold it, you could crossbody it. Um, so you, you can be hands free. And then the dress boot, which has a stiletto heel. If you don't like the stiletto heel, just find a thinner heel that's not super, super chunky. So my outfit is very similar in the fact that it is a sequins blouse, but it's more of a boat neck. That is how it originally came, but it kept kind of falling off my shoulder and I actually liked it that way. So this is how I would wear it because I do think it looks pretty and it kind of always ends up that way. So that's what I do. And then I have on plain black boot cut jeans with my sock booties that are a pointed toe. And I would just carry some type of clutch bag like this as well. And I just think this is a fun outfit that can take you to lots of different places wherever you are going. And if you are a jeans girl and wanted to add something sparkly, this is a really good way to do it. Outfit number four is dressed up in lace and pleats. And I had to do a skirt outfit for you guys because I know some of you really like skirts. So I picked an accordion pleated skirt because I think it's pretty. It's A-line, it can go on just about any body shape. And what I did is I paired a very pretty lace blouse with it. And this one also came in black. And there are other options for pretty blouses. If you do not have a lace blouse, just find a really pretty blouse that's not super flowy, that comes a little bit more close to the body because you are going to be tuck it in, tucking it in and you don't want a whole lot of bulk there. But I love this option. I think it's super easy and you might just have a pretty blouse like this and an accordion pleated skirt or just an A-line skirt in your closet that would work. And then all I did was add a really pretty, just simple heel and then a fun clutch bag and some fun earrings because you can really make an outfit a little more festive, a little more stylish and stand out a little bit more by your accessories. So if you wanted to go more simple on your outfit and add some cool accessories, that always works really, really well. So some options for this outfit are you could add a belt if you had a decorative belt that kind of brought those two pieces together and made it a little more cohesive. You could also change up the accessories to whatever your preference is. And then the shoes, if you do not want to do open toe, you could do a closed toe pretty pump with even some tights or some sheer pantyhose if that works for you the best. So I think just think about some of these things as I go over these and think about what would work for you and your personal style preferences. Outfit number five is never too much shine. And I think this outfit is just perfect for New Year's Eve. And what I did is I put a tuxedo blazer, which I talked about in my festive holiday outfit video, because I think the tuxedo blazer is a great way to dress up an outfit for these events. And then I put it over 
kind of a shorter sequence top and then some faux leather leggings. And I really love the option of putting the blazer over this just because it gives you a little bit more coverage and I do think it creates a more cohesive look. But if you wanted to do a little bit longer sequin blouse with just the faux leather leggings and that works for you, I think that would be fine as well. I love the pairing of this though because you just have, you know, you've got a little bit of shine on the jacket, you've got a little bit of shine on the shirt, and then a little bit of shine on the legs. So that's why it's called Never Too Much Shine. And then, of course, I added sparkle in the earrings and the shoes. So you've got it all going on. If you don't want to get that shiny, then you can change up your earrings, your shoes, and even the blazer. You could just do a plain black blazer or you could do a velvet blazer. And that I think is just a perfect outfit if you are going out and you want to dress to impress. Outfit number six is completely easy dressy style. And the reason why I'm saying it's easy is because it's a jumpsuit. I love the idea of a jumpsuit. It's just as easy as throwing on a dress if you can find one that fits you really well. And they have sequence jumpsuits out there. Ones like this that are just plain, this is probably just a polyester, but it does have a lace cutout on the side that's very subtle. I thought it was really pretty. It comes in two different colors and it's also an ankle length. It comes a little bit shorter, so it's gonna look great with some of your heels and things like that. So I love all the options out there. I'm linking some more below for you because I saw so many great jumpsuits and I do think it's just an easy option to throw on and be dressed. All you have to do is put shoes and accessories on and you are done. So I just put, I told you that I was going to have some more fun earrings in the same version and these are pink and gold and I just thought they were so cool. So I love it if you're going to wear all black to add some color in your accessories because this is the season that, you know, this brings out the fun and festive feel of these outfits. So if you have a plain solid color on that's really dark, add some color, brighter color to it. So I added pink here. I even added a rose gold closed toe little kitten heel kind of pump here for you. So these are options for those of you that don't want to wear the open toe but still want to be dressy. I think the sparkly shoes are really pretty and there's a lot of them out there. So this was one of my favorites and I think if you just had a plain black jumpsuit already in your closet, you could pull that out and add some really festive and fun accessories to it and make it a good New Year's Eve outfit. Outfit number seven is a night out in velvet. And this is for you guys that really like more of a classic look because this dress is just a silvery, it's kind of a grayish color dress. It's long sleeve, it's got ruching on the side and it's very flattering, but there are lots of other options in velvet dresses out there that are short, knee length, midi length, maxi length, and have all different sleeve lengths. So there are lots of options if you want to get a velvet dress. And I think they are so pretty and so festive for this time of year. And all I did was add some silver and black accessories to keep with that classic feel. And I think this is awesome if you have a really dressy party you have to go to and it's really special and you want to address to impress people. I think this is a great way to do it. Or you just want to dress to be comfortable and just feel your best. If this is how you like to with more classic looks, then this is the perfect perfect way for you to go. And I will have to say, if you just have a plain black dress in your closet that has ruching, you could do that as well and just add some of these festive accessories to it and you've got a great look that is similar to this. Outfit number eight is velvet and satin for the win. And this actually was the last outfit I talked about in my previous festive holiday outfit video, but I wanted to show you another version of it because I thought this was fun for the new year. You could also do this as a holiday outfit. The one I did in the other video had a red dress. So if you didn't wanna do red, you could do another color like this light pink. I think the light pink is great and this is a velvet blazer that I have put with it. And I think a velvet blazer is so versatile. You can dress it up or you can throw it on with jeans and a t-shirt and it looks great. So if you wanted to do something like this, just add fun accessories again. I did the uh, sparkle clutch that also has a chain strap and then just the linear earrings like I have on and a nude heel. If you wanted to do a black heel here, you could just so you have another option because you have the black on top. I would not do it 
if you did not have the black that kind of made it all come together. And I know a slip dress is not gonna work for every single body shape, so find a dress that is kind of satiny or sparkly that works for you, and also the length. If you wanted to do a shorter dress or midi length or maxi dress here, you could absolutely do that. I don't think the blazer is too, too long that will limit your lengths on those. So um, I do love the idea of mixing these textures and it creates a really festive look, whether you wear it for a holiday Christmas party or whether you want to wear it for a New Year's Eve party. So those are my eight outfit ideas for New Year's Eve and I hope you enjoyed them and found lots of inspiration from them and I hope you learned how to style some of your own things and maybe you just need to add an accessory or two and if there's anything that you want in this video it is linked below and if you have any questions style questions for your outfits I do not mind answering them so leave them in the comments below and please hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up and the little bell to get notifications and continue to interact with my channel because it really helps me grow and I really, really appreciate you guys. And thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.